Put some color in it, folks. Gosh, we're back. We're back. Welcome back to the Code Chronicles. Um, bit of a challenging week for for myself, but this is definitely what I look forward to, and um, and this is where I get to get to de-stress and, and be a hooligan a bit and just not think about stuff. So, so very excited to to record this episode. We are cruising again to the next uh, goal, which is just crazy. Like. I'm I'm really grateful that I get to see this unpan and and unfold. It's it's been really enjoyable for me. So thank you guys so much. Um, a really great way to support me is obviously, uh, you know, continuing the support, continuing the subscriptions, and the number way one way is is signing up for that enterprise um, software engineering course. At least the goal is to ultimately get enough people in that course where I can focus on building programs and building people up. Um, that's that's kind of my end goal here. Obviously, it takes time and, and hopefully there's there's material here that helps teach people and build people up here as well. I'm learning a lot from this build and learning a lot from this project. Uh, so yeah, if, if you want to support the channel or learn more from me, that is a great, great way to do it is that um, description. Uh, it's a teachable link in the description below. And yeah, anyway, let's, let's dive into it. So we're still building the task manager. Let me just get a little bit of music in the headphones. And it is coming along. I did a Poppins or a Roboto uh, font, changed that a little. I worked on... Uh, just this little uh, base pie chart component. It's just a custom uh, thing. Edited some stuff on the back end as well, or I guess now we're we're working in a mono repo, so there is no front end, back end. It's all just just one repo. Um, so maybe the appropriate thing to say is I, I worked on uh, some APIs. Um, here is that uh, what's it called? The chart component or the the base pie chart. I was, I was working with recharts and was trying to do all these other things. I was like, ah, let me just go ahead and build it. Which I love, I love, I love. So it's cool, it gives us a visual representation of like our project completions for these categories, right? If we have a category, so here's the overall of everything and then for our test uh, categories or our Kanban pages, any of these, TES, that's our category. So when we, when we build a task, right? We'll say new test category and um, oh, and I edited these buttons so they look a little bit, you know, nicer when we uh, select a priority and stuff just looks looks better. Let's do a, a different category. We'll say new category, new cat, of course, and we'll say this one's called cat is the category in progress and what that project completion thing will do. It'll it'll uh, show us the cat. So it auto populates, boom, here's the cat project that we're tracking and charting. And let me add another task. Let's go back to the Kanban and I'll show you. Let's add one that is done. So we'll say cat, cat task done for the cat category. Choose whatever priority, no big deal. And it doesn't matter on the casing either. We can do uppercase, lowercase. We could do that casing and it should all go to that same card. It should in theory. Let's uh, let's check it out. Let's see if it's if it's working proper. It is. So that's what I was working on a little bit this morning in addition to um, working on a few other things, but a uh, project for, for Honeydew, amazing company. Um, yeah, so so just building guys just building software getting better at it I think which is pretty awesome Because an idea like this I, I'm gonna extrapolate and expand on again um, and And we're we got our task categories back up and running and we're, we're doing it on mono repo fashion um, I was working on this button. I forget Oh for the front end UI UX thing that I ultimately wanted to do. Maybe that's what we can tackle today um, let me just go ahead and get the push those changes. Uh, we'll say project changes or project percentage changes. Maybe we'll say cat right dash a b six looks like boom. We'll start getting in the rhythm of of pushing things with the right 
task that it is. So let's uh, let's load that. Golly, folks, golly. So let me let me maybe explain the UI UX that I, that I want to um, have here. Let's see, let's see. So this button right here that I have the TASDF. I know sometimes my, my code can make no sense because I just throw things and label it like this. So um, let me uh, let me go to that real quick. It's TSADF. Here it is. And what it really is is going to be a toggle button. So whether it's some sort of Chevron icon or oh, we might need to run the server again just to up, upload it. But but what it is, it's a toggle button and and all this handle set task open, this comes from the Kanban page where um, I'm, I'm building this array of open task and close task is what it, what it will be. So all it does is just, let me pull up the console. It's a button where when we click it, it should push it to the array. So I'm having some double click issues. I'll need to figure out how, what I'm doing wrong there, but Basically, I want I want to push these things into the array. So uh, let's let's uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Let's just go ahead and pop things into the array. Because um, what I was doing or trying to do was find the delete index of if 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 an ID is already in the array. If I've already clicked something and it's already in the array. And I click it again, remove it, take it out. And I'll show you guys why. We're going to conditionally use that array full of task IDs to show them whether they're opened or closed. And it's so right now we'll just leave it where um, we can click and it'll just add to the array. So each time we press this button, it'll add that task ID to the array or should. That should have added triple A with this one, right? Seems like a different one, okay. And then if we click this one, it should add this one to the array as well, the TES9EC. Let's just look for 9EC at the beginning real quick. Um, interesting, 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 right? I'm, I'm not seeing 9EC. Uh, okay, so maybe maybe we're not working fully here. Um, let me go to the column real quick and we're gonna put our task ID just out in the open so we can see it. Oh, it was just working in view. So I, I tend to do that, pop over to view syntax. Um, okay, so let's see. Task ID, let's look for these task IDs. So when we click toggle, it should plug this task ID into this array and it didn't do that. So let's try one more time. It does it on the second click. Let's try one more time. It pushed it again, and then it, and then on the second click, it pushes the, the one I'm actually clicking. So what is that? Why is it doing that? Is it because we're passing it down? Let's uh, let's configure this. Let's figure out this problem because I just want it to be one click. Boom! Uploads the ID to the array. We're still getting two clicks. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So is it because we're passing it down? Let me think about this. Um, well, it's it's really not the end of the world, but but we, we will need to configure it. But at least at least for now, we can we can figure out all the functionality again on the back end. I can, or behind the scenes, I can look for that. I'm sure it's something simple. It always is. So it does look like it's at least working where we can click a task, double click a task, I should say, should say, and then it pushes this task ID into the array. So what I wanna do is now that we have this array of tasks that we specifically clicked, we want to use that as conditional rendering if the task is is showing us all their information or if it's just a slim version. And I'll show how to do that. So 
we go to our task here, right, right here, this, and we have our class name, we have all this stuff. What we want to do is I, I'm passing in the state task open as well into the base columns. So I'm going here. I guess technically I don't need to pass it into the base columns. I guess technically all this logic could exist in each individual base column, I believe. But what we want to do is tasks open. If it includes the same task ID that this card is, we can conditionally render some version of CSS. So, and if it's not, we want it to be this. And we can also do that to conditionally render some of the elements. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So if we've done this correctly, let's, um, let's just mess with the height right now. So initially it's gonna look really ugly, but let's just see. So do you see how this is like a slimmed down version? So when we click it, boom, this task becomes slim. That's exactly what we want. Um, and you can see how all the, all the titling is all messed up and all this other stuff. So we, we do want to adjust that. So let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Right now, we'll just make it secondary for now. And let's just get rid of all the elements we don't want. So it looks like this. That's going to represent our open task or our closed task rather. Um, we just need some visual representation to say the state is changed. That's all. And we're just using that logic to change the state or conditionally render things. So let's take the same bit of logic of task open. If it includes task ID, what do we not want to show? So um, we can, I think we should probably show the task name, probably the task badge. And maybe that's it. And maybe the priority we can maybe adjust with the color of the name or something. We can deal with that in a sec. But everything else, I, I think we can hide. So let's let's maybe go for that, right? So we have our button here. We, we still want our task button. We don't wanna mess with that, but we do wanna mess with all this other stuff. So I'll wrap this in an object and I'll plug in our, our logic here. If task is this, boom, show it. So everything else will collapse now until we collect it. Boom, now we can see our full task. But we're just gonna do the opposite because we want the opposite. We wanna see all the task, and then if we click it, now, now show us the slim version. And it looks, like, it looks like that might deal with all the height stuff ourselves, so we may not even have to do it up here. But boom, so we can toggle or task collapse. Task collapse. And let's, let's go back to our page and deal with the array now. So I'm going to refresh it. And basically what I want to do now is if, if, I, if this function's receiving that same task ID, let's check the array. If the array already has that task ID, delete it. So then it'll, it'll have a toggle effect. It'll make it look like that the, um, the uh, uh, what's it called? If task open, it, it'll, it'll give the... Uh, perceived outcome that that there's there's a open and close feeling but all we're doing is is pushing it to the array or taking it out so let's find that task id first we'll say const delete index deleted index or delete index and yep task open if that's exactly what we want that the intellisense or the uh, tab 9 is looking for we want to find the index of this tax task ID and let's let's see if this is working right so let's uh, click double click showing us the zeroth element is the one we just clicked if we click again the first element is what we just clicked right but it should it should uh, we should still see the whole array we shouldn't see these other things right okay so boom now the second element is the one we just clicked and if we click this again, it should say the zeroth element. That's perfect. All we want to do now is now that we can locate the index in the array, whenever we click on that same index in the array, just delete it out of the array. So one way to do that, I believe, is we can say task.open.splice. And if we look at our splice function, the if we go here, it's the start is going to be right here. The start is the number. So if we say start at 1, at the index of one, 
it'll start deleting from that point. So if we say start at one and delete 50 items, it'll start at the, the index position of one. So the second position in an array. And if we pass in 50 for the second thing, it'll delete the 50 next items. But we just wanna delete one item out of the array and we just wanna start where? At our delete index. That's all. So delete index, oop, and one item. So in theory, we should be able to slice out that um, that um, ID out of the array. So let's let's get that working. So we can close it. We can open it. Oh, but we do have to deal with the second click issue because now it's always going to <laughs> close until it's in the array. So um, let's uh, let's think about this. Why is it why is it doing the second click deal? Um, I guess in theory, all of this logic can exist in the base column. The reason why I wanted it to go across all columns is because I wanted an ultimate function where I can close all the task at once and, and open all the task at once. But I, I think there's going to be another way to approach that. So let's, uh, let's think about this in a different way. Gonna take that out, take that logic out, and let's let's delete all of this. Boom. String. And I think I think that might have been our issue because we were passing up something that needed to be um, passed down and passed up. So let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Nope, maybe not. Okay, so handle open task. It's receiving a task ID after the second click. Why is that? Why is it after the second click? That is what I want to know. Handle task ID toggle. And, th and this will just be like some Chevron icon, right? Or some, some icon here that we can pop in, right? I just I just said toggle just because it's easy right now. So let's see, comment icon, we could say import. Do we have a Chevron? Chevron icon, we do. Great. Let's go ahead and pop that in then for toggle. And I think I think what's happening is Needs to be one capital. And I think I think our badge is overlapping it. So let's uh, let's make it look a little bit pretty. We'll say items dot center, right? Gap dot x dot two, maybe something like that. So it makes everything adjusted and proper. Let's see, components, boom, task store. Oh, we were doing some stuff up here. Looks like we were just boom right there. Okay. Okay, so now we have our Chevron. Looks good, at least good enough for right now. And we can do... We'll, we'll, we'll need to adjust the UI UX on that in a, in a, in a moment, but um, let's, uh, let's get this, this toggle issue configured. I just, I simply don't understand why it's. So it takes a second and then it's the second click. I think it has something to do with this. I, I, I really do. I think it's something to do with right here. Um, so I'm going to go to our trusty intern chat GPT and I'll say when I use this function it takes two clicks why enter a task ID why boom okay let's see and I think it has something to do with this I really do So 
So this is what it says roughly to do. Else do this. So instead of doing a return statement, it's saying an if else. Um, but I'm not seeing not seeing that working, right? Let's call it log task open every time. So it's closing, right? But we need it to, to open as well. The reason why it's not going to open is because, well, hold on, but if it's closing, it needs, to, it has to know that there's an ID in there. Otherwise, how would it close? Right? Right? Um, let's say, uh, let's think about it, right? Let's think, let's think, folks. Let's think. Um, uh, okay. This is also what it says to do, but I feel like that's just not right. That's just too much extra work for, so it's in there. We could see it in the, uh, in at least this version of task open, but it's not here in this version. That's, that's really interesting. Console log tasks open. Oh, you know what? I think I need to reset task open after. So const new tasks. I th I th maybe maybe that's what we need to do is that right maybe some some version of that right uh, let's see because I would imagine that it just affects that state immediately, right? And reset the task. And set the task open array. But I, I would think that this, this would immediately affect that state. I, I wouldn't think that we need to reset the state, but potentially that is that is so. Essentially, that is so. So let's uh, let's copy that in. See what ChatGPT is saying, right? Boom. So it's copying the array, making a copy, splicing the copy, passing the copy in. Let's see if that's that's exactly what we wanted. Perfect, perfect, folks. And again, the reason why that's working. Uh, let's. Uh, let me console log this again. Uh, what do we have it called? Task open. So the reason why that's working is initially we're closing the task and it's in the array with that idea. If I, if I click another, it's, it should be adding that to the array. Don't know why it's not doing it there. Um, maybe there's some second click is issue per column or something. I don't know, but clicking and then opening, clicking, opening, clicking, opening. So it looks like it's actually using it inversely of how I'm thinking about it, but um, either way it's working. So, so that's what we ultimately want is we can close task and now we'll need to adjust them, right? As, as we need them. So like there's things here where the Prisma thing is going way too long. So we'll need to adjust that. Um, yeah, so, but that's all CSS stuff, but the, the functionality is there is what's, what's most important, right? Um, guys, and this is going to be a shorter episode. I do need to go run the hill. I do need to do that. But very excited that, that we got this roughly working. The other thing I wanted to do was add some sort of arrow here um, in the header of the columns, like a similar chevron icon, right? And I want that to, let me show you guys. And I want that to, if I click on it, it can collapse the entire all the task at once i did i did want to have that <clears throat> so gee, let me do this 
me wrap this in a thing. Say Chevron icon. Class name. With full flex, uh, we'll say justify between. And I want to see that thing over here, right? And not sure why it's working, right? But but the idea is I want to click on it. Okay, cool. I was wondering why that was some somehow closing those tasks, but but I want to click on it, right? We can say item center, just to make sure they're on the same line. And and I want to append all of the task in this column to an array, to that task open array or that task close array. I want, first I need to empty it or make a copy and then just throw every ID that exists into that array. So, so I need to think about how to, how to approach that and, and the best way to do it. It needs to be some sort of function where the function gets triggered here on the on click and we'll say handle close how about handle toggle all task, toggle all, toggle open, all, handle toggle open. Yeah, we'll say handle toggle all task. That's fine for the naming. And uh, we can't do on clicks. I forgot. So there's a few ways to approach that as well. We can make it a button. We can um, pass a function into the Chevron icon. Make the Chevron icon receive props can also work. So handle toggle all task. Uh, but I'll just I'll just make the button. That's that's perfectly fine. And I'll go right here for now. We'll just we'll organize it all in a sec. But we're working right here. So let's. Just go ahead and do this. So when we click this, we just want to see click and we do click this. We just want to see click. It's working. So that's step one. Step two is maybe when we click this, let's append just one ID or some IDs. And I'm, I'm thinking, how do we get all of our tasks here? Because if we can get them all here, Obviously, we can get them in the function and just put them right into the um, array. Uh, let's think, let's think, let's think. Maybe I can fetch all tasks, filter them by the column they're in, or use the filter task, perhaps. Perhaps we use the filter task and push the filter task IDs, because this is already the task by the column. And we take all the filter task IDs, put them in the array. I think I think that's the solution here, folks. That's a good solution, I think, because it's, it's a little bit robust. It's a little bit um, hopefully easy, right? So let's say filter task. And when we click this, we should see all the filter task. Boom, right here. So all we need to do now, I believe, is we'll say const task IDs, right? Filter task dot map. Say task and we just want to return task dot task ID. So, and this should be, I believe, just the task IDs because that was returning everything. Let's refresh, make sure everything's up to date. Get a little sip of roo, the, the old coffee of roo. I'm listening to just the most beautiful piano thing right now. Um, but let's, basically, we're, we're going to do the same thing as the previous thing, a set task open or array to this or clear it. If, if it's already got all the stuff, set the array to this. Uh, or clear it. And I think I think that's gonna work, I think. Or I guess I guess we could we could push them through this function potentially. Maybe maybe pass all the like use this handle toggle all task functions to just trigger this really. 
I, I kind of want to just try that just just to see if it'll work because I, I I find that to be a interesting interesting thing you know so let's uh let's try that we'll say task and then just return just return task i guess or um huh how can we do this how can we do this did we copy it down oh we did copy it down okay i didn't know if we still had the other one task ids it's going to be a string so we just want to turn task ids into a flat array and i i never know how to do that in um and uh what's it called javascript sometimes i, I think i know it's basic i know it's a simple thing but Believe me, sometimes this will always come back as an array with one task. Or an array of tasks still. So, but I think if we obviously passed in the index of these tasks with this. So maybe return task ID at their index. Is that how to do it? No, that's just okay. Turn task ID again. Is it here, right? Where I say index and then index, boom. And let's see, task ID. It would just be really, really interesting just to have that function work. <laughs> we were just using the same logic. Um, would be pretty cool to me, but um, okay, let's let's maybe not gun for that right now. Let's just do the trusty old method where where we're just going to uh, say task IDs. If task open includes this, uh, or better yet, if let's think about this. Let's think about this. Hold on, hold on. So if task IDs include Okay. Let's think. So we we just want to set task open to this array. That's it. So new task open we just say equals task IDs. Let's just start there. Let's pull that out, see if that, that'll at least get us started, right? So if we just, boom. Okay, that at least works now. Okay, cool. So we're just setting this thing to task IDs and really I guess we could just directly do it. But I do think we're going to handle the data and all we need to do is just check if the array contents of two arrays match. Or better yet, I think I think what we could do is actually just clear out. Um, let's see if task open dot length is greater than zero. Maybe we can set task open to nothing. Const clear array. And then set it to this, right? So that way if we have like one task open or something, it clears it, still shuts it all, right? So let's say it's like this, boom, still should shut them all. Okay, so it handles that. Now the next thing, that handles the close case. Now we need to handle the open case. So we can still open arrays and close them all again whenever we click, but we also wanna have the same way we can toggle this open and closed, we just wanna do the same thing here where we can click them and it closes them all. Oh, looks like this one's not working. 
let's uh, let's identify that bug real quick, and then and then I'm gonna pop off, guys. Um, but so step one, we want to be able to close. It's really not working. Okay. Oh, because there is no. I see. I see because we didn't we didn't initialize the array. So uh, maybe we always want to do that. And then, in fact, what we maybe want to do is the opposite. So if if test length is equal to zero. Uh, maybe maybe we don't need anything actually with that. Maybe we just want. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's think about it. So we always want it to close, no matter what, under every piece of state. So that works. And then we also want to clear the um, task array. So let's uh, let's ask the trusty intern. Can you help me with this function? I want to empty, I want to set task open to null if has task IDs. So handle set task open was for opening and closing one task, but handle toggle all tasks. So here's, here's what I'm asking. Can you help me with this function? I, I want to set task open to null if task open has task ID in it. So handle task open, which was the previous function just to toggle one task, right, of open and close, was for opening and closing one task. But handle toggle all tasks need to open and close all tasks. Okay, let's see if that... Okay, so first it's checking for every... Let's let's see. This is, this is what our, our boy chat did let's see if this uh if this lines us up so we want to close them and open them oh it did amazing okay well folks that was a uh that was a good episode i think uh i think that's that's a perfect thing and what we can also do is set some sort of indicator to conditionally render this, right? Like if, um, huh, let's, let's think about it. So class name, we want task open if the length of it equals filtered tasks dot length as well, because this is the length of the column and to do and task open, which should be the same length do something else, do something. And basically we're gonna say rotate uh, like 180. Let's see if this works. Boom, there we go. Just like that, folks. Just like that. Okay, well, I will edit some of the CSS and, and clean up some of these other functions, but I, I do have to run to the restroom. So, but there there we go. We can we can edit and close. Um, and this is what I wanted for the UI UX is something where we can kind of chomp down our task a little bit more so we don't have to stare at a wall of them if we have, you know, however many. Um, you know, we can at least kind of start closing them a bit and having just good UI UX. So guys, thank you so much. I'm I'm gonna clean this up a bit more. I, I do like working on this project a lot, to be honest. Um, it's, it's really enjoyable. So let's, uh, let's build a task. This was a UI UX task from early on. UI UX uh, front end. Say so priority was, was roughly high. Um, say Kanban. 
and let's let's pop it and done it, it does need a little bit of polish but but roughly oh we're not up and running let's get the server back up but let's uh let's say this is done and and um wrapping us up so guys thank you so much for watching and just the continuous support it's it's really helpful and and it's very encouraging it really is it makes it makes this even better like i love i love building software in general it's something i find myself really doing just just for fun and just for enjoyment um, and learning new things and obviously being a, a professional software engineer is, it helps a lot too but the fact i get to record it now and share and and, and that that you guys are gravitating to it people are commenting people are asking questions like I, I i really love it i really love it so so just know I'm really grateful and thank you guys so much. Let's let's see what this Kanban thing's looking like. Done. Almost 100%. We do have a few more tasks to do on the Kanban page, but but we're we're getting some cool stuff implemented here. This is this is one of those cool ones. So I like it. I like it a lot. And um yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Obviously, there's some touch up that needs to happen around the Chevron icon and and uh at least around the other Chevron icon, right? Here's here's one thing I can do right away, I know. I can say scale dash 75. Need it to be a little bit smaller. Um, but that button isn't so obnoxious, right? We could probably do the same the same um, thing, not not the length, but this this logic will actually be based on we'll say task open dot includes task dot task ID. If it includes the task ID, we, we want to do that similar logic of rotate the, um, the what's it called? Rotate the uh, icon. Rotate 180. We'll give it a transition. And boom. And here as well. So that should give us a little transition here, I believe. We've now updated. Let's see. Boom. So we have we have that going on now too. Uh, maybe we'll swap that on the right side so the badge actually exists next to the task title. So yeah, I'll, I'll do some some UI UX, but guys, I I I'm loving this project that that we get to build it. That um that you know it's it's just it's slowly coming together and there's these cool things that are coming from it. So I'm I'm really enjoying it. I I really am. Boom, let's see what this does. Flex right here, boom. Maybe maybe we'll have something like this, guys. So, but I'll do my part behind the scenes and see what I can do. And yeah, I, I like it, folks. I like it. So thank you so much. I, I appreciate you guys for watching again and uh, excited for the next episode. Cheers.